of the Detroit rap and Michigan theater giant, has died. Obituary, February 13, 2023. Detroit, Michigan. Bruce Millen, one of the founders of the Detroit Repertory Theater here, has died. He was 94. Millen and co-founder Barbara Busby retired in 2021 after 64 years of running the rep, handing the reins over to Leah Smith, who continues in the leadership role today. Bruce Millen and Barbara Busby began the theater company in 1957, while students at Wayne State University. He was a student of sociology and Busby was a theater major. Taking on the segregationist nature of theater at that time, Millen and Busby made it their mission to prove the power of diversity acting in unity, instituting a race-transcendent casting policy, the best actor for the job regardless of the color of their skin. They first started at the Millen Theater Company in which black and white actors toured, presenting theater for children. Bruce wrote, Barbara acted, and they both directed the plays that toured Metro Detroit, Indiana, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. The company also operated out of an apartment on Woodrow Wilson Street, across the street from the current location of the rep. The founders moved into a building that was a dry god store in the early 60s, and began producing plays maintaining a commitment to stories about racial justice, civil rights, stories of the downtrodden and race-transcendent casting. That mission continues today under Ms. Smith. Besides being a founder and director, Millen was a fixture behind the bar in the rep's lobby. Always friendly and welcoming, Busby died last August. Bruce Millen was the embodiment of commitment. I have never met, save Barbara Busby his partner in life and the theater, anyone who was more fiercely dedicated to theater in Detroit and beyond. He will be sorely missed, said Cassandra Freeman, a frequent actress and director at the rep. Lynch Travis, an actor and director at the rep said this. Bruce Milan was that special person who was able to work with like-minded artists to create and sustain a theater company that did not cater to the conventions of the day. Sixty-some years before the untimely demise of George Floyd triggered a nationwide change in prevailing theater practices, Bruce and company had already figured it out and did something about it. Despite the naysayers and obstructionists, the rep is still here. Thank you, Bruce. Bruce's theater legacy was huge and has given many opportunities to many artists to create wonderful theater since starting his children theater company, the Million Theater Company, said director Harold Yurkovich. That legacy is a still thriving company in Detroit. Details of a memorial will be forthcoming, and this article will be updated as more information is learned. Black History Month.